this is Jennifer. Welcome back to my channel. This is a channel where you can learn makeup and English at the same time. For today's video, I'll be featuring this. It's the Batiste Dry Shampoo. Now without further ado, let's get started. As you guys can see right now, my hair is pretty flat and it also looks greasy. This is because a few days ago, I went to get my hair dyed with a new color, also highlighted it and bleached it. But because of this, I cannot wash my hair for 3-4 to four days and I still have to go out with friends or go to work. So what I basically use is this product. This is called a dry shampoo and these are literally my all-time favorites. I love to use these dry shampoos and I have used uh, at least 5 or 6 bottles of these already not including these two. This is called Batiste dry shampoo and it actually comes from England. Right now what I'm going to do is I will demonstrate to you guys first on how to use it and how it turns out and then later on we can talk about more details about this dry shampoo. What I would normally do first is I will separate my hair into a few sections and then individually spray the dry shampoo on each section. Now let's start. Remember one thing is that you should at least keep the nozzle 30 centimeters away from your hair and then spray it. And then to another different section. So right now I'm done spraying and you can see my hair is a little bit white and then I will use this brush to brush it like this. Now you can see my hair is totally different, it's fluffy and you can see the different volume also one thing is that it's not greasy anymore it's just like I've just washed my hair now you guys have seen the results on how it has performed on my hair it comes with a lot of different scents but this one is my favorite favorite scent it's not that sweet and it doesn't have the floral scent either so it's pretty good for boys and girls if you guys want to try this dry shampoo at first but you don't want to try a very strong scent then i would strongly recommend you guys to try this scent and this one on the other hand is the floral one which i just used to demonstrate to you guys this one it kind of has a stronger scent so i would not recommend to people if you are going to try this kind of dry shampoo for the first time and overall there are different colors you can also look up on the internet on the website for different scents in conclusion what exactly is the occasion that you can use this product first when you have your hair dyed and you are not able to wash your hair for 3-4 to four days and your hair becomes greasy and flat. Second, when you have overslept in the morning and you don't have time to wash your hair before you go out, this will come in handy. Third, if you ride scooters as your transportation tool and after a long ride you take off your helmet and realize that your hair is flat and greasy, this will also come in handy. It can immediately give you volume and decrease the greasiness on your hair. Last but not the least, I still have to make a small disclaimer about this product. Since this product is still a chemical product, I do not recommend that you guys use it every single day just to avoid washing your hair. You still have to wash your hair on a daily basis. It's up to you how frequent you wash your hair. But once again, I do not recommend you to use this every day. Hope you guys liked my video today. If you like my videos, please subscribe and give me a like down below. Please also leave the comments down below on what you are interested or what kind of English you want to learn. Until next time, bye bye! 希望大家会喜欢刚刚的影片。那接下来呢，一样会跟大家分享今天所使用的一些英文单词。第一个呢，就是这个干洗法 ，dry shampoo。dry shampoo。第二个单词呢，就是这个油腻的 ，greasy。greasy。第三个单词就是这个喷头。Nozzle, nozzle. 第四个单词是像这种大梳子，叫做 brush, brush. 那一般人都会觉得说，如果梳子的话呢，通常我们都会用 comb 来讲。但是 comb 指的是比较像是小小一根一根那种细的那一种，才会叫做梳子。如果是像这种比较大一点的话呢，我们都还是会称它为 brush, 
brush。第五个单字就是这个挑染，挑染叫做 highlight。highlight。如果你喜欢今天的影片，欢迎订阅我的频道，帮我按个赞，分享出去，或者是留言在底下告诉我有什么地方可以改进，或者是你想要学怎么样的英文。那我们下次再见喽，拜拜。